Hi guys, it's Monday, June 2nd. Boy, the time is just flying by. Okay, um, I'm getting back to the projects that I started with the jelly plate. And this is one of the things I did, and I don't know if I even talked about it through the video. I fast forwarded through a lot of a lot of that video because it became like over three hours long. And there was no way I was going to post up a video for you guys to sit through for three hours. And if I broke it into parts, it would be like ten parts or more. So I managed to get it down into four parts just with the actual printing and everything. So hopefully, you know, that will be, I don't know, acceptable that you guys can watch it at your leisure and not feel overwhelmed with lots of video time. This project was done on a canvas, an 8x10 canvas panel by Artist Loft. I have done several prints on top of this and I just cannot get it to look the way I want it to look. So I'm going to come in with some of my golden acrylics and a paintbrush and I'm going to start doing some handwork on it. All this was done with the jelly plate. There is a layer underneath here that I basically covered with the black and then I did the um, the cap here so you can see the color through the black and this was just drawn on with a paintbrush or finger I can't remember which probably both and then printed and I'm just not loving it not not yet and I've got a couple things I want to do to it so but before I do that I'm just gonna come in with a paintbrush and my acrylics uh, I'm not sure which colors just I set out several of them and I'm going to play with it and see what happens. I'll fast forward to do this and then when I get to the other projects I'll probably do a little more um, slow process and talking. It just, it just depends. Um, I may not be alone in a little while and it will be a little noisier around here so it depends on what's going on here whether or not I talk. But for now I want to fast forward this part because it's going to take me a little time to figure out what I want to do and concentrate and work on it and I won't be talking much anyway. So let's get started. Hope you're having a great day.
I cannot get happy with this. I don't care what I do to it. I cannot get happy with this. And I think I just don't like the colors. I don't know. We're going to play with it some more, though. And see what we come up with. I just keep going through brushes. <laughs>
we're gonna let this sit for a little while and we're gonna come back to it later and see if I like it enough see if I want to add anything to it but in the meantime we're gonna move on to the next project I'm gonna work on these tags now and I'm probably still not gonna talk very much um there's noises going on around and everything so I'll probably just work a little bit let you watch if you want to you don't have to you can fast forward me if you want to
Okay, this one, when I punched the butterfly, I got too close to the edge and I cut the edge, so the punch wasn't what I wanted. Um, instead of wasting the card, I just figured out a way to take some washi tape and put it on the back here so that the design showed through here and then taped it down and you know the back can be decorated whoever gets this can decorate the back but it's still a usable card and that's what all that fussing was about <laughs> trying to get it to do right it's not taped here because this side is the decorative side of the tape but it still looks cute I like it so it's it's not a waste all right, so I'm going to keep going. Okay guys, a quick catch up. I've been off camera for a while and I went ahead and did a bunch of stuff and I'm, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> I've even lost my workspace, that's how closed in I've gotten with all the things I'm doing. Um, at the end of the video I'm going to show you all the different projects that I've created based on what I made with the jelly plate, with the jelly plate and the jelly papers. and. Um, Right now, where we're at, I finished the index cards, I finished the tags, I finished those vellum pieces, and I'm working on the muslin that I stamped. Um, and if I could find the other pieces, here's the other pieces. Here's the other two pieces of muslin, and what I've done is I've just cut them, not cut them. I folded them in, ha in half, and I have not measured these. These are not squared up. They're not straight. They are, all I did was fold them in half, and if there's a little overhang, I cut it. It's still probably crooked. I did not measure nothing. This is supposed to be fun and just, just thrown together because that's what's fun about it. Um, and I sewed a little seam, uh, like, so, I don't know what this is, um, Canvas, uh, not canvas. Oh, what is this stuff? Oh, oh, oh! I can't think of what it's called. Oh well, it'll it'll come to me eventually. Um, I sewed that on the ends so that it would extend out big enough for the paper that I want to put in there. And this is what I created with the first one that I've done. It's just a little tiny, just a t little tiny album with some paper in it. Just a few sheets, three sheets folded in half. Um, this is the, the muslin, and then I stitched some stuff. See, I even left the stitching. I didn't cover the stitching. I just stitched that on top, a little collage of a doily and some fabric and whatever this stuff is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I cannot remember to save my life. I know what it is, but I can't think of the name. I'll have to write it in there when I, when I edit the video. And a little tag, um, like die cut or something that I had in my stash. And some, this is vintage, actually, um, from an antique mall. This is old braid, scallop braid. And um, so that's where we're at. I'm going to quit for the night. I'm going to pick up tomorrow. I think I'm done with this. I just put some little 
beads on here just to tie it off just a little bit. Uh, I'll pick up tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more to this or not. I might just leave it like this because the person receiving them is, you know, has free reign to do with whatever they want to do with it. So, but I just wanted to catch up with you guys, tell you what's going on. I'll get things squared away and get, oh, and I made some tape um, out of the clear packing tape out of one of the um, deli sheets that we did, or that I did on the jelly plate. Deli, jelly, blah, <laughs> and whatever that is. What is that? Burlap! Burlap! It's burlap, guys! <laughs> okay, so anyway, I, I know that y'all know how to do this, and I did not watch any particular person do this. I did not watch any videos in particular to create this. I have seen videos over the last year or so of people who've created. I've seen two, I think. One's Journal Artista, I think, and one's probably oh, Frugal Crafter, maybe. I'm not sure. So I don't know who to give credit to this because I didn't go seek it out to make it. I just pulled from my memory bank what I'd seen in the past and I don't know who I saw. Um, and I was inspired by a friend of mine who sends me things every once in a while and on her card she put tape. Let me cover her address. She put tape that she made and so I wanted to try it and she inspired me. So she's my main inspiration. So that's what came of that. Okay, so that's where we're at. I will pick up tomorrow and um, I don't know how many parts so far I've got of this video. Probably about two. And hopefully we'll be done soon. I'm going to make some double-sided tape on some of these deli sheets and I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the papers. But I will at the end of the video show you everything I've done. Okay, have a good evening. See you tomorrow.